money making pros. I like to see hydraulics, 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 hydraulics. Hey guys! So today I am going to be doing a Valentine's Day look. So I finally got this palette and I'm so excited. And it's so pretty. It's so colorful. Look at this. It's pretty. I am late and I finally got it and I'm just so excited. So, and I'm also going to be using the um, Maybelline um, 24 hour foundation. I just grabbed this foundation today when I was at Walmart. Um, so it was supposed to be matte, 24 hour holds, and full coverage, which is my favorite type of foundations ever. So I figured that I would just go ahead and try it anyways. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start and prime with my with my NYX Angel Glow Primer. So I'm going to go ahead and correct using my Maybelline New York Master Camo con Corrector. And it does a really good job of covering up my dark areas. I'm going to go ahead and take the foundation, which I got the color um, 312 Golden Door. Is it golden? 312 Golden Door. Okay, so this, first of all, drying quick, but it kind of it matches pretty well. But it looks like it's. I might have to put this a different way when next time I put this on. It dries pretty fast, um, so you should probably focus on one side of your face first. It's kind of hard to spread it around and blend it everywhere because it dries so fast. But because it dries so fast, that means it, it is matte. It didn't really kind of let me get to the bottom of my face like I wanted to. So I think when I put this on, I'm going to have to use my hand or put it on my um on my hand. First of all, wait, look at that pump. This is one full pump right there. It's kind of a lot. So I think next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to like use my finger and kind of let it spread first. And then blend pretty fast. I bought this foundation from Walmart today and I believe it was like $9.98 or $9.97. So basically it's $10 foundation. So it's super affordable. Obviously it's Maybelline. So this definitely is a matte finish. Like you can't see like any shine. It did a pretty good job of covering all of my like scars on my face. I think it looks pretty good, honestly. Like if I wanted to just wear this foundation, I could pop on some mascara and some blush and I could go and party. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my um, concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in um, the color medium or 25. Go ahead and get this blended out. Okay, so my camera cut out, but I went ahead and put on the Master Conceal. The Maybelline Master Conceal in the color 30, light medium. It already puts it on my forehead and my nose, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out on my eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro Concealer um, and just go ahead and contour my face. I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush and just blend it out with that. Blend out my contour. So if you didn't know, I am getting married this November. Joe proposed to me on Christmas Eve. I kind of did know, but then I didn't. He swears up and down that he didn't give me a hint, but he did give me a hint. So two day, two weekends before. Christmas Eve. 
he wakes up in the morning and I'm like, and we're just talking and he looks at me and he, straight in the eye and he goes, only two more Sundays. And I'm like, two more Sundays until what? And he was like, he, I think he caught himself when he was like, two more Sundays until the new year. And I'm like, okay, I didn't think any of it, anything of it. And then later on, I was checking the calendar and I looked and I was like, two more Sundays is not the new year, it's three more Sundays. So, at that moment, I kind of was like, oh shoot, in two more Sundays, I think I know it was Christmas Eve, and I was like, he's not slick, he's not slick. I figured he was going to do it on Christmas Eve, but I wasn't sure. So basically, Christmas Eve came around, Joe was acting normal, like he didn't seem nervous, he didn't, he seemed like perfectly normal, like, just no big deal. Like he didn't look nervous the whole day anything so i was like he's not gonna do it anytime soon like i thought really that it was gonna be in like january after that point because he didn't seem nervous or anything like that so i was like you know what it's gonna be later so story break i'm actually gonna be first time also using Air cody airspun loose face powder and this stuff actually smells good but like perfume like I'm just kind of nervous because I don't want it to break me out, but I'm going to try it and we'll see. But I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm using a new, um, or a different setting powder than what I normally use. This smells hardcore like perfume. And this is the, this is not regular translucent, this is the translucent full, um, extra coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and contour. But anyways, to continue with the story, I um it was Christmas Eve, of course, and every year we have a family event at my aunt's house. Um, so we have a, like a potluck style event where we play games, and usually the younger kids will like do a talent show. Um, so this year we were just playing a game, like kind of like charades, uh, and it was Joe's turn. And he ran to the kitchen to grab a prop. And the prop that he grabbed was the, um, basically the cardboard napkin roll. And at that moment when I saw that cardboard roll, I knew that he was about to do it. I met him freshman year of college and I was in, when I was doing a pageant that his um, fraternity was hosting. And we had talked a couple times at the event, but I really wasn't worried about him to be honest. I really wasn't. Um, and it was the night after the pageant had happened uh, we were at this kickback and we were me and him and his frat brother were on the stairs all just talking and then me and joe had somehow gotten the cardboard roll and like we were using it to talk to each other looking through the hole there were, it was just we were just being goofy but it was the first time that we had actually had like a conversation and kind of connected so for us, it's like a meaningful thing. So every time we see a napkin cardboard roll, we laugh. Or when we play with it, we just laugh because it's just kind of our thing. So as soon as I saw that, I kind of knew. And I was like, and then after he proposed, he didn't put the ring on my finger. He just had the box. And I'm like, are you going to put the ring on my finger or not? And I'm using the Cover FX um, powder to contour a little bit too. And this color is just a little bit more... Um, golden compared to the it's my Ray Ray palette that i just used to contour that one's more like a gray contour color but this one's more like a brownie bronzy color because i like to have like us just be golden i really like how this foundation is looking like i'm really looking at like who did okay so i got a little closer so that we can go ahead and move on to the eye to the eyeballs i'm gonna go ahead and take this color zulu first which is this color. But I definitely thought that um, my proposal story was very fitting of it being Valentine's Day. Some of you might get proposed to on Valentine's Day. You never know if you got a little boo thing. This color is just super pretty, like. And I'm going to take this color called Bori. I'm just going to go ahead and... <laughs> okay. Well, that's pretty. I'm just going to kind of blend this out a little bit. 
So I'm gonna go to the other side and add the bori over here. I really don't know if this is supposed to be a crease color or I mean of a lid color or what, but I'm just gonna go with the flow. A little bit more and blend the bori out up here. Kind of spread it all out. Now I'm gonna take the color Zoba, which is like a deep kind of purple look right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this little brush, crease brush. Um I kind of want to put it, focus it in the crease. Um, and I'm just going to try to blend it out with the brush real quick. So I'm going to try to carve out, not necessarily carve out a crease, but just kind of some, carve out something so I can put another color there. Okay, so now I went ahead and carved out a semi-crease um, Giza Giza, this color right here. I'm going to take this pretty color. And I'm gonna put that on my lid. I'm gonna use it on the inside. And then I want another pop, so I'm gonna go ahead and take Bori again. Oh. And I'm gonna put it right next to that. I'm going to take this kind of flat old school brush to get a little bit of more bory on this side. And then right there on the outside. And I'll take a little bit more of the Zobo, just a little bit. So I can kind of blend everything out slowly. I don't want to be too harsh with it. So now that I've done that, I'm going to take um, this little brindy brush again. I'm just going to do like a little tap. Because I kind of want to mix these, I want to blend these out a little bit. And I'm going to go back with any little bit of excess of the white and just kind of pull it on top of the pink. Okay, so I added my lashes and eyeliner. I used um, the BH liquid eyeliner for the top lid and then for my wing I used the NYX um, matte liquid liner. Um, and then I went ahead and put on my Ardell Double Up. There are Dell Double Up Wispy Lashes. So now I've been baking for a good minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, take off that excess with this Fit Me Powder in the color 10, 310. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight, and I'm gonna take the um, Becca, Becca Rose Gold Powder. So I'm using the Rose Gold color to try to kind of keep that pink theme going on here. Honestly guys, I like love this foundation. Like. I'm just looking at it and how my makeup has been sitting on it. Hopefully it'll, I'll love it, you know, by the end of the night. It's only five o'clock right now. Oh girl, girl. So I'm gonna be a little bit extra more and I'm gonna put some opal on top of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit of opal on my nose. And then I'm gonna take my, where's my blush? Of course my MAC Stubborn Blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put on my Stubborn, which kind of keeps on with the pink theme. Oh girl, you cute. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. Do I wanna use this color? Or this color? Yeah, 
This is the final look of my Valentine's Day glam. Probably not like an easy, you know, get ready quick Valentine's Day look, but if you kind of want to do a little bit more effort and you want to be pink and cute, feel free to hit up Bay with this look and um, Bay's going to be like, God damn. I love this foundation. I'll probably just kind of put an update of the foundation in the description box because this video is already going to be long as it is. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe. So stop and you do you it. No, I'm just kidding. No, stop and subscribe to my channel. Um, and feel free to let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely and wonderful Valentine's Day.